Jstar PSRS PBX system now supports integration with the Zendesk platform to automatically sync your Zendesk contacts to PSRS PBX system and create new contacts in Zendesk for unknown callers. Better yet, the integration can help you turn incoming calls into tickets for effective record keeping and issue resolution. It will realize automatic process for customer requests to receive the by phone system and greatly improve productivity. In this video, we will explain how to set up this integration step by step. All right, here we go. Before we get started, we must make sure that the two platforms meet the following requirements. Finally, we also need to activate FQDN on Yaystar P Service PBX, which will be used as access for the integration. Now we can start the configuration. First of all, we need to obtain the authentication information from the PBX. Log into the PBX administration interface, then go to Integrations and click on Help Desk. Find Zendesk and click on Integrate. Here, make sure you copy the redirect URL for the next step. Now we can go to Zendesk using an account with the administrator privileges. Find this icon, click Admin Center, and find Apps and Integrations. Here we click on APIs, then go to Zendesk API. On this new page, we can click on OAuth Clients to add an OAuth Client. Here we can put in all parameters to finish this client. Please note that the unique identifier is automatically generated, and we need to copy the identifier for the next step of the configuration. And in redirect URLs, we can put in the URL we get from the last step. When we finish everything on this page, click on Save, then click on OK. A pop-up window will appear to show the secret for application. Then we can click on Copy to note it down for the next step of configuration. Now we can move forward to make an authorization request to Zendesk. Here we go back to our PBX admin interface and enter Zendesk integration page. In the authorization section, fill in the unique identifier and secret we have obtained from the previous steps. Then put in the subdomain from the Zendesk account's URL and click on Save. A new page will be launched, indicating that the Zendesk application requests to access data in the Zendesk account. Click Allow to proceed. We'll see that the authorization succeeded. Click OK to proceed. Now the integration is finished on the system level. We can continue to associate Zendesk's users with the PBX extensions. We go to the Zendesk integration page. Here we will see all available Zendesk users. We can manually assign each user with an extension from the PBX. In other cases, let's see your Zendesk users are using the same email address as the extensions. We can also click on Associate automatically. Then the system will match users and extensions with the same email address. When we're done, click on Save. As the users have been successfully updated between two platforms, the integration is now finished on the user level. Now we can set up contact synchronization. On the Zendesk integration page, click Synchronize Contacts Automatically, then Synchronize to Phonebook. Choose an existing phonebook or create a new one. For the next step, we can set up automatic contact creation for Zendesk. Check Create New Contact Automatically, then select to enable the auto creation for inbound or outbound costs. For the last step, we can set up automatic ticket creation for Zendesk. Check for a new ticket automatically, then select the time period and call type of automatic ticket creation. Once we're down, click on Save. All right, that was how we integrate Yaystar P Service PBX system with Zendesk. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Need more details? Visit yaystar.com.